right, boys, you guys already know. Every other Sunday, the best card in every position. By far my favorite video to record. I feel like I say this every other Sunday, but it's actually true. This time, it's insane. Golden tickets to the Crucible promo. Obviously, some theme team all-star cards. Ultimate and Legends are literally disgusting nowadays. This is a hard one to make, but if you enjoy videos like this, I do them all the time. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. Let's just jump right into it. Offensive line since the last one I made didn't really change. Once they give us endgame linemen, they really don't update them too crazy. Left tackle, still actually probably one of the worst positions in the game because it's still a 98 overall sitting right here at Andrew Thomas. All these guys above him don't get zero AP secure protector, and that's what you, really what you need. So if you're going true to form, true to position, Andrew Thomas is the guy right there. Like I said, there really has not been too much change. I remember last time we did this video, we were debating between Russ Grimm and Nelson. We ended up going Russ Grimm because he has a little bit better abilities. Some people don't like him because the 270 pounds versus the 330 pounds. I guess it depends on what you really want. You can go either of those guys there, but I'll go with the abilities at the end of the day. It's fine. Whatever you want to do there. Center's going to be Kelsey probably the rest of the year unless we get a go. I don't know what it's going to take. He still gets amazing abilities. You even get Vanguard on him if you want to rat. Uh, he's really, really good still. Right guard, I mean, honestly, it's, yeah, it's the same list over and over, boys. It's, oh, oh no, 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 I messed up on this last time. I messed up on this list. Everybody yelled at me because I forgot about him. Zach Martin is actually the best. I completely forgot about this last time because you, you got to power him up, and he's a 92 right here. He's actually a 99, as many of you guys know. I remembered. Everybody yelled at me in the comments. I couldn't even believe I, I forgot him because I use him on my own team. Zach Martin, right guard one, and then right tackle is still that man, John Runyon. That dude gets amazing in discounts. One AP threat detector as well. That dude is a dog. And then finally, we get a new tight end one. I feel like it's been between like Tony G and like a couple other people for a while now. And now we get this Evan Ingram. As you guys know, he gets yak him up as an ability. He gets like three other zero APs on top of that. Gets uh, This card's amazing. He, uh, he is 6'3", but at least he could juke. He still is fine. Evan Ingram, I think, is tight end one easy right now in the game. Most people would probably agree with that, too. He's a dog, even if you want to run him at wide receiver, too. Just because that yak him up as an ability can't get canceled out by momentum shift on defense, you know? But wide receiver, wide receivers just got blessed. And, uh, oh, I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the intro, we also just got this promo, too, the Division Dynasty, which is insane. The wide receivers, boys, we got two of them. Both of them came out on the same day, wide receiver one and wide receiver two. Marvin Harrison Jr. is by far wide receiver one. This dude gets every ability in the game, basically. Everything you need. He's six foot four, gets the good juke, 99 every single stat. And also every single theme team in the game. Yeah, Marvin Harrison, wide receiver one easily. I think CeeDee Lamb's not too far behind him, too. You can see he's basically 99 in every single set. Catch the traffic at 92. You won't notice it. You won't notice it. He's amazing, dude. Six foot two as well. He gets every ability of many discounts as well. CeeDee Lamb is amazing. Then wide receiver three. I actually think the, the top three wide receivers, in my opinion, are the Marvins and also our guy CD right there. Marvin Harrison also gets Yakim up as an ability. You guys got to remember, ability Yakim up is important now because Aiden Hutchinson on defense has absolutely ruined X-Factors. So X-Factors are dead unless they are built in as an ability. Because Aiden Hutchinson's on every football field right now. He's arguably the best card in the game. So a guy like Marvin, oh, both of the Marvins, and CD Lamb getting built in X-Factors make them amazing. And that's why they should be on every team. And then running back right now, this is hard i need to do a top 10 running back list update i know i didn't do one too long ago but you can see dude we are loaded william perry still amazing obviously you still got diggerson one of the best i actually love jamal charles because he had an infinite discounts he got nerfed to Dayton hutchinson too because he doesn't have a built-in x factor i think it comes down to marshawn lynch walter payton or william perry i think william perry that's who i currently use i think he's amazing i think it comes down to i kind of want to go walter payton here marshawn lynch gets built in angry runs or he gets built in freight train Walter Payne, I believe, gets built in Angry Runs, right? Or is his Freight Train too? His is Angry Runs. Yeah, I think I value that a little bit more because it works after the catch too. I think I'd go Walter, but I think you can go with Perry. Jamal's still really good too, but like I said, he gets discounted by the, the Aiden Hutchinson. So, I don't know, man. And then quarterback one, RG3 puts up a great fight. He is like really, really fighting right next to Tom Brady because he gets Truss, the best release in the game. A very, very good stack as well. I did mess up in the video yesterday. I recorded it early, obviously. I put on Master Tech in Howard Master at the same time. I messed up in the video yesterday. I noticed it after I posted it. But I think Tom Brady is quarterback one. I think RG3, if, you are, if you're willing to spend a couple more AP to get that trust as well, he's still very good. But I'm going to go with Tom, man. I think Tom is so hard to beat. And then we just got to go to that fullback. He's arguably one of the best running backs in the game, too, if you can get him up in speed from the Seahawks team team or the Steelers team team. He is 96 speed, which is a little tough, but he gets built-in Vanguard, built-in tip drill. He gets a uh, uh, freight train on, I believe, all game long, as well as an ability. Franco Harris is a dog. This is definitely the best offense in the game, if I had to put it on a paper right here.
right, boys, here we go. We're on defense, and this is where it gets hard. I feel like no matter what, there are so many cards that are very interchangeable. There are so many options, especially at this free safety. You'll see right away. I think there's a free safety one in Larry Wilson because he gets universal, but free safety two is very hard. You guys know I like to do two free safeties for you guys, two strong safeties. This one is insane. I mean, you can go with Eddie Jackson's also very good. Paul Krause is amazing. I'm not the biggest on Donald. He doesn't have the best stack in the world. But I think Ronnie Lott's also good if you're running man coverage as well. Mean Joe Green's still good. Mike Reinfeldt's still good. I don't know, boys. Who are you guys going with free safety to? I think I kind of want to still lean Paul Krause because he still gets a, a zero AP sack. He's still very, very tall, six foot three. I think I'm going to go him there. I think you can go with Mike Reinfeldt too. I think those guys are very interchangeable. But that one... Very hard to, very, very, very hard to rank. But at right outside linebacker, these two are amazing. I, I, You guys know I did my first top 10 pass rushers list of the entire Madden 24 cycle last week. And I had Whitney Merciless at number one. But Odafe just came out. And as you guys know, he has built-in Colossus for one AP. And then I think three zero APs on top of that. I think I'm going to go with Odafe. I think Colossus is much better than Unstoppable Force. Even if you have to spend one AP for it. Colossus is just insane. It's insane. Adafe, arguably the best actual pass rusher, like not ability wise and not, you know who I'm talking about right here, like momentum shift wise. I think when you look at straight pass rushing, he's probably the best right there. But middle linebacker is also very good. I think Terrell Bernard needs to be in here no matter what because he gets reinforcement. I know he's a little bit on the slower end, but reinforcement is really nice, especially with all the zero APs he gets. He'll be able to knock out everything. He could play the man and zone, the hybrid scheme. A lot of people are running right now. He could rock in there. But I think middle linebacker one comes down to either of these two. And I think I still, I know Ray Nitschke has the better abilities, but I think I almost want to lane Gronk if you are using him. But I don't think there's a wrong answer. I think both these cards are amazing. I think they're, depends on what you want, I guess. But Gronk is Avalanche. He's taller. I think he's just a good card in general. I think I'll go in there. But I wouldn't be mad if Nitschke, I wouldn't even be mad if you put Nitschke right here. But at the end of the day, those three are the top dogs in the game. Left outside linebacker is a little weird. I was hoping TJ Watt was a pass rusher. They made him a user and his one AP bucket's really, really garbage. So he really only has two zero APs and then nothing else on top of that. I think he's a little bit on the midside. I actually really like Cornelius Bennett as well. If you guys do not know, I know he's not the biggest name in the world, but he gets tackle supreme for one. You can get your avalanche in mid zone right here, your lurk artist, whatever you want to do. You could overpay for lurk artist right here for one, I think, right? Does he not get lurk artist in any of these buckets for one? He's like the first outside linebacker I've seen. I get that. But this car, you can do some crazy stacks with. I think I want to lean him over Calvin, but I think Calvin's still amazing. I'm going to go with Calvin, actually. I think if you're going to use her, I think I'd go Calvin. I don't know. That one's a hard one as well. Strong safety, super easy. I think the top two guys are the top two guys no matter what. You got Ryan Neal, who gets universal. He's six foot three. He gets amazing abilities, like five zero APs. He's insane. Built-in pick artist, too. Ryan Neal right there. And then, come on, man. Still Bam Bam Cam. Four zero APs, and one of them being Avalanche. And six foot three. The name value alone Cam Chancellor brings to a roster as well. He's got to be on the best car in every position video. He has to be. Now we move to corner, where corner actually has been getting buffed like crazy lately. We got a brand new Joe Walt, but he's not even better than his 94, which is crazy. He ain't... I don't know, man. I know he's better statistically, but his abilities aren't very, very good. His 1 AP bucket might as well be useless. But right now in the game, I think Charverius Ward, until we get that Randy Moss corner that Dom made, you guys, if you guys have seen that video, until we get that... Right now, I think the top two corners are Charverius Ward, who gets universal all game for zero AP, by the way, and also Mark Bavaro, who is a reinforcement six foot four corner in the game. He is insane. Pair that with your mid zone. He's going to play like amazing out there. And then corner three, I guess it depends on which scheme you're running. If you're a man guy, you're probably going to Asante Samuel. I mean, you could really go Asante Samuel in general because he runs mid zone or because he has reinforcement. The problem is, is he doesn't get mid zone KO discounted. So I feel like I almost want to go with like. Terrell here because he fits every scheme a little bit better. I don't know, man. I guess, like I said, if you run man, I guess I go Sante. If you're running zone, probably AJ Terrell in the game right now. I don't know. That one's a tough one right there. I guess really whatever, whatever your preference is. But these two are top dogs regardless right here. I think so. At least you could go Revis too. Revis does get universal as well. So I guess... Actually, I think I want to go Revis right here. I think he fits everybody's scheme a little bit better as well. But then at right end, the best card in defense in the entire game. I don't even want to, I don't even want to look who else is at right end. He gets momentum shift. He cancels out X Factors. Basically, you guys know Omaha is miserable to play against. You can't use Omaha against him anymore. He cancels it out. He gets zero APs. He has built-in dual threat as well. He can pass rush really good. He obviously has the, the momentum shift is the only reason why, why you want him crazy. He's got to be on every roster in the game right now. He is insane. And then a D tackle. I love John Randall in the game. I still love Sap. I know he's an old card, but I still love Sap. But Joe Klecko gets two AP Colossus. 
I know it's one AP more than our guy Adafe, but a Colossus is just the best D line pass rushing ability in the game. I think it's an absolute must have right here in Klecko, and especially as a built in, right? And then at left end, I'm going to go with my guy, Julius Peppers, who also gets built-in abilities right here. You can see he gets that, uh, I think it's in his tier one, right? Or it's his, yeah, he has Unstoppable Force right here built in. Then he gets Run Stopper on top of that, also which Joe Klecko gets. This defense is ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed in the best card in every position video. That is by far my favorite video to record. It was a hard one to make. I mean, the corners are definitely, I guess you could say, towards everybody's play style. Wide receivers, running backs are very interchangeable depending on how you guys play. Let me know what you guys would switch, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.